Hi, did boy, who cares? Here's my review of Bond. And yep, this is the movie with Marilyn Monroe, and there's been controversial going on for a while with this film. And I can see it. But not what people are saying. To me, it's something different. As I will explain now, as I just the second finish watching the film. So this is my quick mini review of what I thought of it quickly. So before going into what I like, what I dislike, what I thought of it, I say what it's about thirty. This is the story about Manuel Wall, thirty. Oh, he's down for thirty. That's it's thirty years thirty. He's down for. So, what I thought of it, as you guess by the title of this video, it's a weird film. It's um, I feel weird about this. Not in the way of people are for months or about the controversy. It's not to do with that. To me, it's the way it was filmed and what it is. That got me a bit. I'm not so sure how I feel. Firstly, I, I go for what I like. First thing I like is, is Anna de Adams, I think her name is, who played Manuel, the Manon. She was outstanding, she's unboiled in the part and she done an unboiled part in a man on a row. She was outstanding all through the film. Second, I like the visuals, the way it was filmed, the costumes. God, this film was beautiful to her. It is so gorgeous to her hat. From every single second of it, it is beautiful to her. The soundtrack too is is amazing on the two. Again, you're going because you're going back to what you said, 1950s, you know what I mean? So, everything about it is amazing on that way. And the story, too, which I love, I love Ben Stone, what Hollywood was like back then. Again, it could be like a bit now, but it was way back then of how dirty it is, how you, how you got to do to get your part very sweet. And how you like you treated, which again is fucked up. And the same with Man of Wall, he struggled for his mental health from the beginning of the movie. You see here, fucked up childhood, basically, where his mum tried to kill him, basically, to her growing up and her getting part in bad ways. And not just that, he having multiple miscarriages. This is what the big half point is this film. You see here going through multiple um relationships, multiple you know, causing really multiple miscarriages and it's a very, very hard film to watch by seeing all that and it do go detail and that's is a hard thing. Again, it's a good thing it's shown in media in a way because it's teaching people what it's like back then and especially with mental health. But at the same time I can see people being iffy on it and this is one of the hard things now the narratives to me the one of the biggest narratives I have with this is the length of the film it's almost three hours the whole film almost I think it's on for two hours 47 or something like that or two hours 50 something like that it is long and to me it would turn me down as a film for the story is told that's my biggest problem with the bits in the film that a push, 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 and you don't you don't need to push that far. That's the dumb thing about it. Wait, I get it. You're making more impact, but at the same time, why you said before with the Mick Harris thing, I go heavy on that, and again I can see people being put off by it and. That's the whole thing about this film too, where if if one of those films that you need to watch at the right time, because to me, I think I watched it the wrong time because as you you know seen before, I posted a video in today where I just finished Dharma, you know the Jeffy Dharma story, you know, you know I don't know if you're on that, you know, I just finished that and that was hard, that was depressing too. Going from that to going to Manuel World, which is God is depressing too. So basically, I think I watched in the wrong time to have my 
two feelings. This is one of the hard ones for me, and I don't know how I feel. That's the weird thing. It's, it's my first film I've seen, I think, that I don't know how I feel about it. Because it's not a bad film, it's not. But at the same time, it's not like, and I'm, it's not up there as the greatest note of this year. I, you know what I mean? It's one of those ones, it's weird. So, we're quick up my final thoughts. So, my final thoughts of this film, it's a stone film, it's beautiful, it is a tiresome story of mental health, basically, and it covers that well. But the big um, problem I had with it is the length. I think the length killed it for me personally. Again, it might not for other people, but for me personally, I think the length killed the film. And also, it is another thing too, it's one of those films that you need to have one, a stable mind. If you've got mental health problems, or you're currently having mental health problems right now, I would not advise watching this film yet. Because it does make you feel like crap. Secondly, if you ever watch something like I just did before with the Jeffy Dahmer thing, um, don't watch something depressing before you watch this because it is going to kick you in the nuts. I'm being, I'm just a warning now. So, my final score, it's a 7 out of 10. It was an 8, but it's one of those things that I got up and down. Because to me, it's an 8 or a 7, but from now, I put on a 7 from now. Again, if I rewatched it, that could change. If it does, I take this video, this review down. I will, and um, I won't repost the review. I won't do that. Instead, I post a quick review on TikTok, maybe, and an update what my what the tomato score. I will update that. But for now, it's a seven out of ten. So my question today is: What you for this film? Are you with me with this that you don't know how you feel on the film quality? I don't know if. Or you with that, or you like it, or dislike it, I like to hear it. And also, if you like this review, please leave a like. And if you want to see more in the future, please subscribe to my channel. This has been The Brick Who Cares. See you on the next one.